Quicksilver was uh, basically 87. When was it that APG ran your Quicksilver ad? That would have been, I think then it was fall of 88. That's kind of when I, I was still thumbing around for names. Mm -hmm. And that's Palmer's Pursuit Shop is what I just, so I became Palmer's Pursuit Shop just as a, oh well this will work. Actually, I, I really didn't have a business name at the time when I put the, when the first ad came out in APG Magazine. I didn't even really have a business, I was just a person. Mm -hmm. My first advertisement was, attention sharing and owners, change your CO2 in a little as three seconds for further information call. Mm -hmm. and that was the ad, that was the extent of it. And I got something like 1,500 phone calls in the first couple of weeks. So. With that, and being somewhat fairly new to being a single parent, mm -hmm. it gave me the opportunity to be home with and for my son. Yeah. And make a living at home. Mm -hmm. So I did. Yeah. I, turned, I was in the overhead door business at the time. I was managing a commercial overhead, overhead door company. And uh, gave him two weeks notice and started doing paintball. <laughs> How much did you charge for the Quicksilvers? At that time, I think originally it was forty-five dollars installed. Yeah, took a little machining on the lower tube mm -hmm. and the unit itself. So customers would ship their guns in. You would install the J slot. Yeah, that had J -slot. that was the only way. That you, Joe, average guy, didn't have a way to install them himself. Well, you wouldn't have dropouts then either. You would just have J slot. I only built probably forty or fifty Quicksilver units before I thunk up. For my for my application, mm -hmm. the drop slot, but I didn't cut it in the bottom. I cut the hole in the side of the gun in the side of the gun. Mm -hmm.